Good morning, guys. Not my car. On a test drive. And it's like, you know something? I just passed a graveyard. So I'm thinking, you know something? What better way to test drive a vehicle than driving through a graveyard? Because if something spooky is going to happen, as I salivate, then it's going to happen in a graveyard. Across from every cemetery or graveyard, you have to have the spooky house, Calvary Cemetery. We've been here before, it's been a long time. Went here a long time ago to get tombstone ideas. So as far as the architecture and the way this thing just kind of looks, I love looking down here. I love that view. For some reason, it just screams like Greek to me. I don't know why. But I love the plant back there. The way the, oh, look at the cross up there too. I love the way that they do the lights with the candles. Cross up on top. And then you can see the, the way the building is aged with the black, and that, it looks like tea staining, guys. It really does. That's just excellent. Love this. Just to let you guys know, I'm not abusing my privilege either. This vehicle has an intermittent stalling problem, so as long as I'm driving it, I'm doing my job. We're just driving through a cemetery to do that. I love the shading, I love the aged tombstones. It's kind of funny guys, when you find like a marble tombstone, they really stand up for the test of time. Oh, look at that one right there. I love the way that one's leaning naturally, just over the course, or over the years. The marble tombstones just like, they don't like age because they're like not porous. They're, they're smooth <laughs> and they're dolphin smooth. There you go guys, vlog thumbnail right there. So many different ideas, so many different designs. I mean, if you wanna get kind of fancy with your tombstone, you could do the cross on top. Obelisks. Maybe we should do like a grand tombstone. That is freaking huge. Maybe we should do one like that. That would be badass. What do you guys think? Wow, he's only 53 years old. <laughs> when you get older, you start you start looking at that. <laughs> so at 53 years, I've only got 13 left. Oh, that one's cool. I love how they did that one. That one is beautiful. Wow. Rows and rows, guys. Wow. Oh, this is really neat. It's a flowering cherry tree arch bridge tunnel. Cool. Not just good tombstone ideas for your haunt, but also a little word of advice. Live every day like it's your last because it might be. Uh, finally out of work and going home happy, guys. Uh, today is uh, really good weather and it's supposed to last for like the next week. We're supposed to have this nice kind of trend going on, so that's awesome. When I get home, we're gonna head out to the park and then we're gonna head out and get a dress. And Troy has never been more happy before to get a dress. I know that sounds weird. It really, really does, especially if you're not a haunter. How many of you guys are not haunters? I'm, I'm just curious right now as to what percentage of you guys do Halloween like Halloween or just like like the vlog kind of thing uh, that would be good information to know anyway yeah we're going out to get a dress for me well kind of say daddy's truck Bye, Josh. <laughs> daddy's truck Bye, Josh. ready to go go gotta put that in the other hand here put this in your left hand hold on to it all right and this is how you baby one hand yeah. like this <laughs> Uh-oh, watch your feet. Watch your feet. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Just look at those fingers going. It's like, what can I get and throw in there next?
<laughs> Why do we like doing that? Why do we like throwing things in the water? That always amazes me. Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Duck. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Are they coming to see us or are they just going up there? Oh, I think they are. I think they're coming to see us. Uh oh. There's one that's coming. Pretend to throw some stuff. You see the duck? <laughs> they're arguing. Oh, they're going back in the water. They're like, hey, they ain't got nothing. Quack, 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 quack. That's the mean duck. Do you guys remember the mean duck? The one that bit us? It, it look, it's a duck. The geese are protecting a duck. That's outstanding. It doesn't even look like it. Why are they protecting a duck? I don't know. Don't touch. It doesn't look like a dog, right? My <laughs> It's a little fluff ball. Aww. <laughs> That, sir, is not a choo-choo train. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna get my dress, <laughs> if it's still there. I was telling Lori Lee that I should put it on and go and then ask people, does this dress make me look fat? <laughs> oh, whew. it's here. <laughs> Your ugly dress is here. Hey, what are you doing? Get up off the floor. For a lot of you guys, you might remember a couple years ago, Lori Lee, Keith, and I went to uh, look at this abandoned house that was right here uh, for a haunt opportunity, and they have gotten rid of it. They've leveled it and taken all the buildings down, but you can recognize the fence. So there, a little bit of closure for you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for cock. Um, so, oh, since I've been home, though, uh, I worked on the car a little bit. Um, Lori Lee and I watched the Carbonaro, Carbonaro Effect, which, if you guys don't know what that is, you should look for it, because it's really freaking awesome. Capzone 2, have you used sound effects in your haunt rooms? I thought you knew that we did. Um, the basement and the solarium we had, um, well, last year we had fire, but the year before that we had dripping water in the basement, and the solarium has been bees, because bees are creepy. Emerald Gypsy Heart, um, that dress is pretty creepy in uh, Charlotte kind of creeptastic. Uh, the, the awesome thing about this dress, guys, is you have to look at her backstory. And you know that um, Charlotte was a witch. And so she is going to have a crystal ball because crystal balls are still indicative of witch. Not so much gypsy. And I keep saying gypsy just because I'm thinking that. Um, but anyway, very awesome material that this is. Um, this with some of the jewelry that Lori Lee got because um, we already have a bunch of like gaudy jewelry and whatever um, so yeah I don't know where I was going with that Harlow Halloween Haunt said watching your vlogs keeping an eye out for you wearing the shirt well need to keep a better eye out because on day 1622 a couple days ago I wore the shirt at about 9 minutes and 16 seconds you can see it when I'm doing COC and Haunter Heat asks are you afraid of clowns Troy no, not at all. And Harlow Halloween Haunt and Craze Hunter 24 kind of asked the same question. Uh, hey Troy, when are you planning to start your build with new props and what are you uh, planning on doing? Miss Loveseek answered and says, I know he'll answer, which I am right now. Um, but he really wants to get to it soon. He just is super busy right now. It's also convention time and he's doing side work, meaning that I'm working on cars outside of working on cars of what I do all day. I'm doing after what I do all day after that. But he's planning. I hope that I can be a bigger help this year now that Phoenix is up and around. So there you go. That's basically it in a nutshell. I'll get to stuff when I get to stuff. I almost couldn't even say that. Dark Legion 75. Um, exactly. I'm thinking about using Charlotte's old dress for this. If you wanted to accent the dress itself, you could rip up some wide lace off of another old cheap dress, one that you might use for another actor's costume, then distress it by soaking it in tea, dry it in the sun, and then let the kids have a dance party on it. Yeah, <laughs> I just did that. 
Prando label said that he just bought one of the alligators, like the one that we showed in the vlog uh, yesterday, but his is five feet long. He's going to put it into a blow-up kiddie pool and fill it with blood and body parts. Nice. Nice touch. Hollywood Properties, thank you for uh, talking about uh, spoofs on The Walking Dead. Thank you. And CSRFTW, also thank you for giving us some suggestions about uh, what we can do to spoof The Walking Dead. And finally, Jordan Winton, I've searched about your whisper maze. Can't find anything that ex can't find nothing that explains it. Any help or what the heck is it? Um, the whisper. Well, first of all, uh, whisper is W H I S P E R. Um, the Whisperer Maze was 2012, so you'll have to go back to the 2012 build vlogs to take a look at that. Alright guys, happy haunting, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.